Welcome to Steph Reacts. This is a place where we can not only laugh at ourselves, but have fun in the process. Our daily facts for today is... Did you know the famous sitcom The Golden Girls was supposed to have a different theme song? I didn't know that, but now you do. Let's go. We are going to react to another episode of Craig Fox and funny episode, so let's get on up. Welcome to Craig Facts on Caffeine. If I owe you something, get it from God. God, God, God! <laughs> hey man, another, another illustrious episode of the greatest podcast on the planet. How the fuck y'all doing today, man? Woo! Yeah. 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 I've got some of my favorite people in the world around me. But first, I want to introduce the guest. Y'all give it up for Rito Brown. Yeah! yeah. What you got going? What you working on, Rito? Talk to the fans. Hey, man, just having fun again. Uh, again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got a new girlfriend? Nah, I did have her. I had her throughout the whole COVID. Is man. that oh, right? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, That's what? a real relationship with COVID ones where you don't got to know about the bitch for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fun. So what's fun again? Why weren't you having fun? Yo, I feel like the internet was oversaturated, man. There was too many people doing it. So I feel like now that niggas is back at work, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, it's fun to, to be outside and creating again. So there we go. Fun, yeah, ain't nothing worse than watching somebody that don't know what they doing and steal your ideas. Well, <laughs> that is that. the worst. I just like, I like watching them go down that fucking path, though. If you want to make your life that hard, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. You ever had a joke stole from your AD? Everybody go for AD. Yeah! yeah. In the building! You ever had a joke stole from you? Absolutely. Let me, let me, inter let, me let y'all know who AD is. When I first uh -oh. started doing comedy, this, the first thing AD looked like Common to me. He looked like Common, the rapper. Stage I ever was on, Big Bro gave me the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. blessing, yeah. blessing. And a year later, to this day, he's still the only comedian I seen beat up his DJ. Burn, 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 burn! 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 <laughs> the DJ humiliated. That's his second job. Humiliated DJ. <laughs> you ever had a joke stolen from you? Uh, not verbatim. Maybe okay. an idea. And, and and it's so hard nowadays because it's, we think about the same stuff. You know, if, if you say something about you know Chappelle getting rushed on stage or Will Smith, it sounds like right. You know, it, even if you said it first, it, it's it still sounds like somebody else did whoever heard it first right. you know what i'm saying so then you'll you'll be like that's why a lot of times i at first i was hard i didn't want to put anything on the internet because i felt like other places was still a joke and right. then mm -hmm. you know you go travel to texas and he doing your mcnuggets joke you right. know what i'm saying so <laughs> at the right. end of the day now you do it to your best ability you know what i'm saying to personalize it and then you don't have to worry about it man i had a whole tv show so damn mm -hmm. The Domino Show. Oh! oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uninterrupted got me. I ain't even mad because I know it's not the whole uh, company as a staff. Somebody in there saw it and mimicked it. But, you know, what I learned from that is, is if you dope, just keep creating. That's, that's it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that's how I feel. Exactly. Be, you, you, know. Know. you ever had something stolen from you that you couldn't get back? Uh-oh. No, but I keep seeing. Like, it's like we're all thinking the same. So I yeah. keep seeing things that I've been thinking about doing, and then I see it up on the internet, and it's like, oh, no. Right, right, right. It feels like it's so That's why when you have a good idea, you got to write it down and you got to snatch it out to ether because I feel like whatever's controlling this universe, it'll run it by you first. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. You know what I'm exactly. saying? If you don't hop on it, it's going to float to somebody else. Do you yeah. feel like, I feel that way too, but I feel like I keep, there's a lot of stuff I think about I don't even talk about though. Right. You know it's, what I mean? I keep, but that, it's, I keep that on the edge. It's so hard because you want to see if it's, worth you putting the effort into it and right. you'll never know if it's worth the effort if you keep it to yourself right, right. you know what i'm saying a, a funny joke may be funny to you when you're sitting on the shitter writing the joke right but if you don't tell nobody it's just a shitty joke right <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, real yeah, spit. You know what? Let, let me let everybody else introduce themselves. Yeah. Man, starting with Ty, we're going to go all the way around the room. Oh, man. Humble Ty, man. It's the Ty <laughs> Comedy, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Out There Nation. I know you out there. <laughs> This is Paris McCracken. McCracken, McCracken. <laughs> What's up? It's Snap, Snaptastic. You think you ride on the time? Well, I ride more. And it's your man, the professional loiterer. Sunny in the evening. Ooh. Keep mm. moving. Man, you know what it is, man. Worldwide in the building. AD, most affectionately known as Mr. Worldwide. And it's me. I look like a little kid sitting behind you. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what's going on? Uh, this is Kevin from the Wonder Years. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got addicted to heroin. I'm looking for in my same clothing, you know? yeah. So, yeah, I'm Matt Jones. But I am playing Brent Savage in the. In the <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring it back. I'm bringing it back. Yeah, but you know, the thing is not to lose it. Have you ever lost it? Like, you just went off, like. Well, you just had an outer body experience, you know what I mean? Like beating up your DJ. Get <laughs> 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 over that. When the last time you lost it, Snap? Oh, uh, man. I told you last week, man, I lost it a while back. I had a punch in the TV, man. It was like an outer body experience. Like, mm -hmm. I, I saw myself do it, man, you know what I mean? And I, and it was like, I didn't feel no pain or nothing afterwards, but I felt like a dumbass for the next year. Well, was, you know? what were you, like, was, is that whatever you was mad at, was it still on TV when you punched <laughs> <laughs> Or did it go to a commercial? Like, you went to a commercial and punched it, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Did the show I, get canceled after you punched it? I blacked out. Really yes, I couldn't find a remote afterwards, man. What last time you lost it, son? <laughs> ah, it was over some dishes. I remember, like, <laughs> my, it was my cousin's turn to do the dishes. This was way back in the day. And I was like, so why didn't you do the dishes? And he was like, because I didn't want to. Oh, uh, so no, 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 no. So I was like, I was like, wait, what? So I was giving him a chance to correct himself. And he was like, because I didn't want to. And then I had to beat his ass in the kitchen. Hey, oh, was he darker man. than you? No. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm not stupid. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that sounds like some, that sound like some beige rage. Yeah. <laughs> do we got this? Uh, do we got the uh, celebrities? What would what, what be okay? Speaking of people losing their temper, here are, here are some celebrities losing their temper. God, God, God. Ooh, five. Oh, fuck up. <laughs> we just saw you on Twitter on. on the border. I'm here five hours late, nigga. I'm here, nigga. Be happy. I'm here and ask some real questions. I was late because I went to go get some chicken wings. That's why I was late. The reaction to that Super Bowl. Please be aware that if it if it's any video that you may not see, that's because I chopped it up because of the YouTube platform. I'm not allowed to show any and every kind of video that is shown. Okay, please be mindful of that. What Super Bowl commercial? All look alike. Oh, you're all black and famous. You are all guilty. All I am. I. I am guilty. No, I'm I am busted. I am guilty. <laughs> Some reporter right. for this station. No, you don't know right. the difference between I know. me and my fish. My, my mistake. Uh. My mistake. All right. What the fuck? Stop. The track off from the band. This is the bullshit we deal with when we just doing a random rock and roll tour. All right. With no rehearsals and shit. I apologize for everybody at home streaming live on Love Life and Jay Z's site, Life and Time. What are your thoughts on it? I want to meet her and understand why, what happened. That's cool though, like, I, I feel you. I think Tatted is a fucking asshole though, I will tell you that. I don't fuck with that guy. Fuck you to this tat artist, by the way, because you're an asshole, for real. And you should lose your job, and you should never do tattoos again. I don't fuck with you, and if I ever see him, I'm gonna fuck you up. My lateness tonight is due. I don't like to be late, by the way. Maybe it was the pressure of the press, perhaps it was the jet lag. Whatever, it took just one reporter and a simple greeting, welcome to Bangkok, for the pop star to lose that Icelandic cool. Welcome to Bangkok. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Ja. After Pryor laughed while Burl was telling a serious story about having a child out of wedlock. So she first consented to not have a baby, <laughs> have an abortion. What is I'm sorry, man, but just, I'm just, I'm just. <laughs> I wish, I wish, Richard, that I could have laughed at that time at your age. When I was your age, the way you just laughed now, but I just couldn't. I told you this nine years ago. I'm going to tell you on the air in front of millions of people. Pick your spots, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cold <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah, that was a G check. That was a G check. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Your spots, baby. Pick your spots. Hey, your spots. I'm, I'm happy that there weren't too many light skin niggas on there. So no. The, the Drake one was warranted. You know what I mean? That was crazy. Yeah. But it was all dark skin niggas walling out on that motherfucker. It was. Yeah. It was a lot of dark skin niggas walling out. Pick your spots. To me, that's one of the coldest threats I've ever heard. Yeah. 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 What does what does what did he mean by pick your spots, AD? Like what was what was he trying to tell Richard? Well, he was telling Richard, uh, My thing was, I was like, well, well why would he tell him that and didn't go and didn't go in on him? Right. That, that's that's my whole thing. But it, you know, the key, the key, key didn't go in on him. Yeah, and didn't go in the, on him. The you key know? is nine years ago. Like I told yeah. you, nine oh, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I, yeah. Could you imagine? If Chris Rock would have said that to Will Smith after he got slapped, like, ah, pick a spot, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so I did pick a spot and I hit the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You teed yeah. it up. I don't know, Milton Burroughs was a G like that. Yeah. That's incredible. And then, uh, uh, what's the dark skin dude's name? Akon. 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 Akon with the wrestling slam. I don't, I don't know, man. That you're not going to let nobody slam you like that. You're too crazy, man. Just, 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 just let Akon throw him in the bush. What did dude think? What did dude think coming up on the stage? A little bitty man, huh? Yeah, what did dude think coming up on the stage? Is he taking his jewelry off, taking his... Yeah, yeah. What you know what I mean? He pointed him out. He walked him. What do you think he was going to shake his head? What do you think he was going to do? That's, That's what I'm saying. Point. That yeah. was my thing with Chris Rock. What do you think he getting ready to do walking up 10 yards from him? Yeah, yeah. Chris didn't want to. Look, have you ever gotten to it with a celebrity? Yeah. Yeah. So, you, 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 you know I have. <laughs> Who you get? Ralph Sampson. You got to do with Ralph Sampson? Yeah. <laughs> you know Ralph Sampson? That's so Y'all really too young. That's Ralph right. Sampson is a seven foot four basketball player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that's like getting into it with Jackie Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> Where was you and Ralph Sampson at at the so, same time? Huh? We was at a midget bar in Scottsdale, Arizona, oh, called, what? called Gilligan's. Okay. Uh, uh, you can Google it right now, Gilligan's. It's a it's a it's, it's a, a midget, midget bar. bar. Okay. Okay. Scotts, uh, Scotts, uh, Scotts, Scotts, uh, Scotts, what a little uh, person yeah. bar, little so, person bar. So he come in, <laughs> Ralph Sampson. Ralph Sampson come in with a bad young white bitch. Right. So he walked. Oh, can I say that? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. Was she a midget? No, she was full size. You know what I'm saying? She come in. He got a bad blonde, right? All right, all right. Bar. So all right. when they walk in, you got midgets. They walk up to you. Actually, do you want to drink? You know what I'm saying? So they looking up at this thing oh, like so he got all the people that work there are midgets. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was on the picture. Oh, so, oh, so, yeah. No, it's a midget. Oh. So is the furniture small? Yeah, yeah, all this shit is little. That's why, <laughs> that's why when you come in, you, you sitting up, you're like, oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, Google the shit. You, if you think I'm bullshitting, Google G Gilligan's Midget Bar. Midget Bar. It's, it's called just Gilligan. So we walk in. I'm in there karaoke. -ing. You know what I'm saying? So what kind of conversation was y'all having? Small talk? No, when, when it's small <laughs> <laughs> I'm 6'6". Six, six. Right. So I'm in there like, I'm the tallest nigga in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he go. That's why he go. So, no. so he pull up, he pull up, he, he come in, he duck to get in the motherfucker, right? So I go, oh shit, that's Ralph Sampson. So I walk up to him, right? And I'm like, hey, what's up, Ralph, man? I'm a big fan when you, when you were with the Houston Rockets. I said, but 
I'm still pissed off because you beat the Lakers in 86 with that bullshit shot. Right, right. Uh, and the nigga told me, you should be over it by now. <laughs> Mad as a motherfucker, boy. I was I was mad as a midget with a yo-yo. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be over it, so, so we get we get into the verbiage, and I had a couple drinks, and so my boys come on, they're like, "Come on, man, he's too old." You know what I'm saying? I was like, "No, he ain't too old to talk shit." Right. right you know what I'm saying? Right. But that was my yeah. only major incident with a with a celebrity. Rito, you got into it with a celebrity before? No, nah, not nah, not really. I mean. It was probably like a back and forth on Twitter with, with Benzino. Oh, really? Oh, no, we, tried, we said with the celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Benzino, celebrity. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> but it was, it was just, it was back and forth. I think, uh, What'd you say? Everybody was fucking with him. And you know, back when he was in the Made Men group, they had a video and they was on a flying carpet and shit. And I was just like, y'all better leave this nigga alone so he do a drive-by on the flying carpet. Right, oh, right. Oh. And he did, it was like his first thing on Twitter. He, he didn't like that shit. That nigga was just going off, bro. But it was just Twitter back and forth. Nothing too crazy. Ty, you ever get to it with a celebrity? Man, um, I tried to get an interview from Chris Rock, man, at the Civic Center in Dana at the award show. I called him Pootie Tang and he just kept walking. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, Pootie Tang, get an interview, come on, Pootie. But he wasn't even named Pootie Tang. Pootie, yeah. yeah. But yeah, he was Why in the mood. You, you should have been like, <laughs> <laughs> he played Pootie Tang. No, he, he, didn't, talk, he didn't play Pootie Tang. Uh oh. He, he should have slashed you. No, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I said, I love your Pootie Tang. That's what I said. I said, Chris, that's, like see, that's like seeing Martin and be like, yo, Cole, what up, Cole? <laughs> 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 yeah! He gonna turn around. What the hell wrong with this fight? I, I, I ain't surprised that Chris Rock didn't get an interview. He walked past and said, Well, I love doing Pootie Tang. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You should have been like a Sada Tang. <laughs> Pootie Tang is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Nobody else has gotten into it with a celebrity, huh? Dude, I got into it. Mine's the widest thing it's possible, though. I got into it with Michael Bolton. Oh. <laughs> Can we get him a microphone? Ooh. Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton. Okay. It, it, it's not that great of a story. I was doing valet at the time, and the guy came... The thing is, with Michael Bolton, I didn't realize who he was until I actually stumbled across one of his songs. One of his popular songs, and I realized, hold on. He, wa- he was actually the person that actually sang the song first. I can't remember exactly which song it was, but I was shocked. Because a lot of these artists, they would actually sing a song... But you don't, you, you wouldn't realize that they aren't the originator of the song until you do some research yourself. And that's what really took me by surprise. So that's how I really know who Michael Bolton was. can't drive at all. And so, like, one of the valets, he, like, almost smashed his car into the front of the valet stand. And so we reacted. And then he said that we acted like girls. Because we actually jumped when he pulled in. Oh. <laughs> it was Michael Bolton, so, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was just crazy. And, you know, I valeted his car, and he had crushed up energy drinks in it. So that's how he's able to Did he to try to him. holler at you? Oh, no, Michael Bolton is. Michael Bolton sings when a man loves a woman. Oh, okay. Yeah. And no, 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 no. without you. Ah, uh, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. And I think he have other songs as well. No, that's I was, a remake. I was thinking, uh, what a fool believes. That's Michael McDonald, though. Michael McDonald, yeah, wow. Michael Bolton, Boy George. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got the blonde hair. Blonde hair. Okay. Yeah. Wow, like wow. Said, widest, widest feud ever. You yeah, know, Matt Jones and Michael Bolton. Yeah, that didn't last long. But <laughs> yeah. well, when you get older, you graduate from bullshit mentalities and you stop getting in, into it with people and you just let idiots win. No. Yeah. This is the thing is, with that, I can agree with Craig with that. You cannot really argue all the time. As you get older, you will realize that get, getting into an argument with people, it don't really serve you any purpose, and you're just going to waste your time. So as you get older, you'll be more mature, more mature enough to just let, let that argument go or let the, um, let the person win. Because... As you get older, you just don't feel like it, you know? That's, a, that's just my opinion on that situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These next clips are uh, graduation fails. Check out these graduation fails.
God, God, God. All right. I don't know about you, but falling down in public is one of my fears, or even doing anything embarrassing in front of everybody is really, really traumatizing. I don't want to go through that, and I know that you guys have some stories that you probably are ashamed of, so I totally understand. You can play that episode of my sitcom when we go to a break. We'll go up to like 30, 40 minutes. Oh. An hour of the show. Right. Oh. Slow it down, buddy. Man. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Who's that? Charger for her, for Charge for Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. You lose. Uh, he passed out? Oh. Mary Grace Morton. Trap door. Like a mug. He just dropped out of the scene. <laughs> I saw all the videos. People really be nervous as hell though. I wasn't I wasn't nervous at my graduation. Yeah, because you, you didn't graduate. Oh, you did? Oh. <laughs> 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 He's like, I wasn't nervous at my graduation. You didn't graduate. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, at my high school cra graduation, this white dude, uh, no, it was the year before I graduated. What's going on here? Tiger Productions. All right, Tiger. Mm. I was on the preview there. This one, Bayside High? Hey, man, this white dude drove a motorcycle naked. Through the graduation the year before I graduated. Ooh. And he has to register as a pedophile to this day. Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. As he should, as he should. Drove yeah. a dice, a dirt bike across District Field. Shout out to the white boy. I, you remember that white boy, Daryl? What's his name? He was recruiting. Oh, you know, no, no. Was, <laughs> he was recruiting. Locking out. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I just, man, he got arrested. I'm glad you didn't, D. Stick shift. And the thing about that story with Craig is telling, I know that to whoever he is, I know he regrets that to this day. To have a record as a pedophile on your record, that will mess you up. I know to this day he regretted. He probably did it to get views or even laughs, but I know that is something he regret doing to this day. Wow. <laughs> Stick shift talk, yeah. You remember him? I graduated from letting people borrow money who can't give me good answers. Oh, yeah, I'm asking 12 wives. When you want to borrow money, what's the protocol for somebody to borrow money from you, AD? I learned, trust me, I learned from my mistakes of doing that. I learned heavily. As we get older, you get to see a lot of things clearly and you get to reflect on the things that you did when you were younger to this day to this day i still haven't really gotten all of the money that i've actually landed out and uh, sometimes you just get a little bit learn from your mistakes and your consequences there are consequences of doing certain things and I've been trusting people that do not really value you like that. So yeah, 
that is really really something that I that I want to hear up the perspective from these guys because I know that they are older than me so they should have a lot to tell Whew. let me this is I have this going on right now I have a cash app account with four of my homies and I put $500 in the cash app account and they can take and give from the account all all four of them when that 500 is gone I can't fuck with y'all no more. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, because I got niggas that's going to have to borrow some money. You know right, right, so right. So I make sure, hey, it go 500 for all four of y'all. That's, right. that's more than 100 apiece. Right. You know what I'm saying? If y'all take it all out and don't put nothing back, y'all yeah. ain't got no money. Wow. Mm. Them the best type of friends that borrow because you can always be right. You know, <laughs> <laughs> borrow money, never rebuttal. I'm gonna fuck. How much bullshit you on? You always right. What's the protocol? Somebody borrow money from you. What, 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 what are some of the things that they have to uh, appease for you to let the money go? Uh, to borrow money. Well, don't ask me for more than thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> because more than likely, I'm not gonna get it back. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I gotta be okay with that, and I'm losing it. Um, yeah. And if it's over thirty, I'm gonna be mad about. It. Yeah. So, Are well, you gonna be petty about it? Like, if I borrow five hundred from you and you see me with some new Jordans on or cash out or flashing something, are you gonna be mad? Are you gonna address me? Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Not for thirty dollars, easy Jordans. I, I, I hate to break it. Yeah. Those are mine. Woo. What's the protocol to borrow money from you, Ty? Man, I ain't got it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it. Don't run away. Don't run away. Back. <laughs> when last time you might borrow a significant amount of money? Never. Yeah, not significant. <laughs> You're talking about over twelve dollars, right? <laughs> significant. I need to not need it back. But the thing is, if you let somebody borrow some money, you get favors for at least four to six months. Like, yeah. I, I need you to help me move. Oh. I, need to, I need to clean this bathroom. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I borrow my dog shit in the tub, I need some help. <laughs> you know. <all> <laughs> I borrow some money from you and you ask me to help you move, I'm gonna pay you back. Uh, <laughs> uh, I let somebody borrow what 250? Ooh, that was okay. about it. I got it back though, he was real trustworthy, you know what I mean? So what with me, was, what, what? what was the game? What was the Because you know, niggas that borrow a lot of money, they always got the whole story put together. What was right. how did what, what was the game he hit you with? And that was a question I was gonna ask. Is there a, a, a reason you can't like a reason that you that's like nigga, hell no. Nah. This nigga had he needed he needed help with rent. So I was fucking with that. Right. But I had niggas hit me up like, yo, bro, I need I ain't got I'm, I ain't need I need some tree. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I need weed borrow. You know yeah. what I mean? Like some shoes. If they ask you for to borrow somebody for some shoes, do you let him borrow that shit or what? Would it's you let somebody borrow money to pay somebody else back? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a payday loan, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, people don't borrow money from me anyways. My bed falls into the wall, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, uh, so we've all graduated from letting people borrow money. That's dope. I ain't got no suckers around. <laughs> yeah. I let my mom borrow money. She owe me. This bitch owe me thousands. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. My, she know I ain't never gonna ask for it back. No. Right. You know what I mean? You make moms pay you back when she borrow money? No. Mom nah. never made me pay back. No. No. I'm at the point now where I'll just send my money. Yeah. 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 She needs it. Needs it. Yeah, I'll just send it to her. Nah, like my, my mom's cool, she working and shit, so she don't really need one. Yeah. If she needs it, I just send it to her. Yeah. I don't, I don't no question. Mm -hmm. But say you needed the money back, what's the appropriate way to press your mother for your money back? <laughs> my mother, I mean, like the thing is, with my mom, like, if there's ever a time to get money, I'm not, I'm not gonna, like, I can ask her, she'll give it to me. You know what yeah. I mean? So it, it's never, it would never have, there's never been a point when I needed to borrow money where I'm like, hey, let me get some money to borrow shit. Now that we're at the point where I just give her money, I don't even ask for that. Well, Todd, how would you press to get, do an act out? How would you approach mom? She owe you eight. Uh oh, uh oh. Mm. She's been borrowing eight. <laughs> this is twenty to fifteen. Why? That can become tricky because not all parents are really, really. I would say.
nice to the point where you feel that I don't know some parents are just not nice you know that's the that's the way to put it Hey, you need to get back because your daughter graduated high school. You need to buy a cap and gown. Mom's old. Mama, I'm in jail. I need to ask. Did you think you can jump up yourself? I done keased up this fall day, Mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mom, I got shitty reception. <laughs> what would you do if you caught Mom stealing money out your wallet? Like you want to be real? You gotta have that, man. Hey, you gotta have that. You give it to Mr. Charles, though. She's gonna give it to Mr. Charles. Yeah, you can't say that. That's her good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Put her hand in your purse. I'm gonna keep. Right. I'm gonna let her have her dignity, and I'll just creep back. I got it. Yeah. yeah. For real? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You might. Yeah. No. You, even if you don't listen. Even if you gonna let moms have it, you gotta you gotta make her feel guilty. He was like, oh, is this what it's done came to, mom? Is this what we at now? Yeah. I can't first time. I love her too much. You gotta ask. You her. call her by her first name, so they all yeah, they on good terms. Uh, you got it. I put a lien on her house. That's what I do. Oh. You gotta press her. She don't know about. Her. You gotta press her with questions. That's fucked up. You gotta press her with questions. Like, mom, 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 come on. How much? You know what I mean? You gotta know how much she taking out of the wallet because at that time, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, kicking the door, like that's why Daddy left. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most you can say. The most you can ask is how much. This was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you said that's why Daddy left. Oh, you a yeah. Summer's around the corner. Here are some. Do we do vacation fails? Here are some vacation fails. Gone, gone, gone. Oh shit. <laughs> oh! 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 He made it. He made it. No, he's half the chart, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. oh. oh. He, he didn't jump in the water. <laughs> he didn't commit. He didn't commit. He jump in the water and not get wet. That's <laughs> They ran out no alligator in there. That dog gone. Woo! That boat nah. in trouble. No. No. Oh! Yeah. He out there in the flex seal boat. <laughs> 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 the <slowest>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! No. Oh. Hey, slowly. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 What are y'all doing? I think she's not grandma. Mm. Oh, oh. oh! And the tree. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, not even that a, was that's all not bad. Even a boat. That shit was wiggling coming up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> they out there in the, yeah. on the water in the chalupa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. There it is. Oh! oh. What the lot looking go. like? Oh. <laughs> All right. What the lot looking like? How many people in the? Yeah. Yeah. I've never been on, been on vacation. I can't relate to vacation no. fails. You've never been on vacation at all, ever? No, I've been to my Auntie Pam house. She lived three miles away. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. I'm a workaholic. Yeah. She got a pool, Craig? She don't have a pool, but she had a slipper slide. Ah. <laughs> yeah. You was on it last week? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm talking, this is in the 80s, right? Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> a slipper slide. Y'all been on vacation before? Yeah. 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 What? Was that Lake Las Vegas with the jet skis and all that? Oh, oh. Uh, growing up, I'm talking about growing up. Yeah. 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 
Boston, because she didn't like flying. She drove from Boston to Florida at least every two to three years with the kids and shit. Oh, that's oh, wow. She bring us down to Florida for a week. Like, Disney we used Florida. to go to, uh, my grandfather played professional baseball in Mexico. And we used to go to San Felipe. Yeah. And that's where the first time I saw we were shooting fireworks and the federales was on the beach with those machine guns. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is a place yeah. that, that I don't want to be. This, this <laughs> looked like Little Watts. So he was, play, he was playing professional baseball as a grandfather. <laughs> yeah, he man yeah. professional baseball. Yeah, he, no, he was. <laughs> that nigga was awesome, bro. <laughs> 69. <laughs> Dominate the Mexican League. <laughs> You play professional ball. You are a different type of guy. Football. That league was worth a damn. This is incredible. Throw a 20 mile an hour turn. This little pitch game. This nigga. What position did he play? He played second base. Okay. Man, that's good. He was over there dominating in Mexico. Because AD a big dude. He's 6'6. So how about big as grandpa? Probably about 6'2". Oh, yeah, he was over there killing it. 6'2", old man. Yeah. yeah. They thought he was seven so old man. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, last week? <laughs> 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 Nigga, that's the base catch and shit in the outfield. Running into the home run. Yeah. They was playing that old... What kind of music was they playing for him when they hit a home run? They was playing like... That's how we go. <laughs> that was Miles Davis. <laughs> so, so my grandfather actually got into a fight with Satchel Paige. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, he slapped my grandma on the ass. <laughs> oh, <that's right. laughs> yeah, it was it was popping. It was cracking. Yeah. So my grandfather whooped Smokey Robinson's ass in oh, high school. Mm. Mm. Really? How you gonna beat up a gay motherfucker? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Smokey was that gay. gay bastard. Yeah. You knew he was Smokey then. That's why they called him Smokey. Yeah. <laughs> he he was smoking weeds. He tried to holler at his lane. <laughs> tried to holler at my grandmother lane. Grandpa wasn't having it. Uh, Two piece? Yeah, right. man gave him the business. Woo! Uh, Shout out to Smokey. <laughs> what? I could have been your grandchild, but you didn't have no hands, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now I got the strength to do what I want because you can't fight. <laughs> What type of shit is that, man? <laughs> he wasn't smoking Joe Frazier. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, man. That's funny, man. Any vacations? Because he grew up, he grew up, he grew up a Huxtable. Oh yeah, this yeah. nigga grew up. Well, as a, as a child of privilege, I, oh. I kind of went everywhere, had postcards, pictures for everything. I just, there's nothing funny about it. I was just a happy child. Best vacation you ever been on? Ah, oh, shit. I still say it's Disneyland as a kid. Like Disney World, Disneyland, all that stuff is, is yeah. still yeah. top notch. Do any of y'all remember when you found out your father would be fucking other bitches? Yeah. Yeah. Say <laughs> 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 Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. You know you're not going to be fucking other bitches. That's a hell of a segue. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this is, no, because she had a good father, too, so she probably... Men hide stuff from their daughter, so I know you, your father never did nothing like that, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, he did. Right. Uh -oh. Well, my father yeah. is smooth. Really? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. He's a smooth guy. Yeah. Uh, but honest, and, you know, he is who he is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, we love Cam. Why can't we love his music? Why can't, why can't we just bring the other bitch home with us? Parents, like, wouldn't life be better if I, you know, say we was married and I just, I met a woman, so I just need you to scoot oh. over to the other side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. People are doing that now, though. Right. Like marriage, there's tons of open marriages. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a thing yeah. now. You think you could be in an open marriage? No, not me. Could you be in an open marriage, Matt? Why not? If some, if, if I was like out, like jogging on the treadmill, and some guy was just banging my wife. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what if she let you choose the dude for her? No. <laughs> No, no. Like you go no, out. I'm not, that, I'm not that white guy that's like, yeah, I want to bring someone home and have you fuck my wife. <laughs> but didn't we do a sketch about that? <laughs> but you know him. <laughs> <laughs> he played the shit out of that character. He was coming over and he was having sex with my wife, and I was like the cuckold guy. That was yeah. Like, what? You were, you were what? <laughs> what was that? Cut. Cut. Oh, the yeah. cut. Oh, okay. Okay. You can watch it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah but not in real life. That's not me. <laughs> My favorite line from that sketch is he, he had a line where he said, uh, he said, this has been going on for ages. He's like, I learned from my grandfather. My grandfather 
uh, was famous because he caught Abe Lincoln coming out of Colored Whorehouse. I was thinking about that sketch. <laughs> You said something along the lines of, you're like, don't you care? And I'm like, if I care, it'll kill me. Yeah, he said, if I care, it'll kill me. I said, don't you care about your wife? And he said, if I care, it'll kill me. Yeah. Wow. Honestly, <laughs> that's, that's, you, that's you, the line of the day. You have to be that way in a relationship. Yeah. I have to have the mindset of you don't care. Piggybacking that, I had a buddy. He uh, brought, brought one of his boys to my show. He said, hey, D, uh, my boy is going through a divorce. That's why I brought him to the show to uplift him. Do you, you, you've been divorced. Do you have any good advice for him? Right. I said, yeah. I said, um, are y'all divorced or separated? He said, not yet, but we're planning on it. I said, if you can't picture another man fucking the shit out of your wife, take your ass home. If you can't picture it. If you can't picture it. Right. That means you're still in love with her, so take your ass home. Oh, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I think that was the, the best advice I could give him because he was like, no, I can't. I can't picture that. Yeah. I said, well, you better take your ass home. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Real simple. If you care too much, you will get you. That's it? I agree. If you care too much. I agree. Oh. that guy that's like always buying flowers. <laughs> what's the, what's the, <laughs> Paris, what's the perfect amount of care a guy can show? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. You just have to ebb and flow in and out of. Caring? I don't know. I hate to say that. Right. No, you, there has to be a challenge. Right. Somewhat. You can't ever just be like, I'm here. I'm available. Now. I'm here. I'm obsessed. No, a stay at home dad work. that's like baking while you're at work. That's, yeah, that's. <laughs> that needs a little respect. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to go into the clips of Mother's Day. Let's cue up these Mother's Day clips. Mom isn't always right. Mm. Oh. 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 oh, there you go, Mom. My mom, my mom, hey. my mom did that before. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, this is that bad news, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 wow. Get her off the damn phone. I know, get grabbed. Oh, hey, jump it up. Okay. Oh, we out of here. <laughs> What's happening? Wow. So your, your mother's drunk, I see. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I can do it, huh? You got the app on your phone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you log into it. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look out of here. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, that's how, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how. Well, oh. Good news? Mm -hmm. pro the person probably paid off their mortgage for that bag. Oh! oh. oh. That's child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Sure did. Blanche and uh. <laughs> that is not her mother. That is not her mother. <laughs> like should night be Justin Bieber's mother. <laughs> that is not her mother. <laughs> Bieber is not a night. I can guarantee you that. That baby is about to hurt itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why? What? I don't understand. That was it. <laughs> All right, we can cut you to baby videos. Here yeah, we go. <laughs> <laughs> These were pretty regular. <laughs> 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 He said those are pretty regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when your mother is not right, what's the best way to correct her? What is the best way to correct your mother? Being in a black home, it is so hard to correct.
anybody that is older than you because they feel as though you're being disrespectful so I don't think um, it's a way of properly correcting someone that don't want to be corrected first and foremost and without you feeling like you're being disrespectful when she has an error of perception without being disrespectful is there a way? I mean, <laughs> no, I, I just don't mean about yeah, the bus game, or what are we talking? What is she not right about? Say it's a woman you're dealing with. Your mom just thinks she's nothing. Like this is, she, she's you're too good for her, son. But you love this woman. Well, that, yeah. There's things that she can do that you can't do, and I, uh, <laughs> I got to have it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, you would just flat out say it like that. Yeah. I got some habits. Say, Mama, you give me that. What do you say? Mama, you give me that. Mama, you give me that. Mama, you give me that. He started zipping and zipping that. Mama, till you stop. I'm proud of the scumbag. I can't believe you would ask your mother for that. What, what, as, as a parent, AD, what's the correct way for your child to correct you when you're wrong? Um. I have a, you know, my kids are older, so they can they can say stuff to me like, "Hey, nigga, you can't spell." Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't really see, cause my relationship is kind of kind of open with them, so they can you know they can talk back to me, so it wouldn't be any type of disrespect if they if they said something. But right. at the end of the day, they still know I fuck them up. So right. <laughs> that's that's where you that's where you kind of know. Hey, your son is a big. That's a big dude. I'll shoot that <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no problem mind. with pistols either. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> I would hate to have to shoot my child. That would just mm. be, yeah. that'd be the worst day of my life. Yeah. He got loaded one night and swole up on me. Did he? Yeah, he got mad. So he came and knocked on the door. Yeah. So I, I sleep naked, so I had to put on some shorts. So I put on some shorts. I'm like, what's up? He was like, <laughs> he's like, let me let me talk to you. I was like, okay. So I go to the living room. This nigga done moved all of the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> you are your own. Remember, this is this is first year training camp yeah, yeah. with the Titans. Right. But he right. loaded. <laughs> and I knew he was on something because I could see his eyes jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, are you on something right now? He was like, no. You know, you was talking to me crazy earlier. <laughs> and I was like, well, look, man, once you calm down, we'll revisit this. Right. Then he goes, am I, you can see him coming down. Am I tripping? And I was like, yeah. So I turned my back and I was like, ooh. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was an L I was going to have to yeah. take. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, nah, nah, I cracked the door. Hey, put that furniture back. <laughs> <laughs> They locked the door. <laughs> Sonny, you ever got a tour with your pops? Yeah, yeah. He knocked me out in the airport. Uh, oh! Yeah, so that was different. I mean, I mean, he, no, but he hit me in the chest, though. He hit me in the chest. I was okay. all right. But that was the last time I corrected him. So now, I correct, now, now I correct everybody else. You stole, the, you stole his mustache off his glasses? <laughs> 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 what the fuck is my mustache? <laughs> 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 and nigga got my mustache. Why did he fold you up, son? Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> he was asking me questions like about my stepdad. And I was oh, like, oh, you know, when somebody oh. asks you the same question like 30 times and like in like different forms, oh, he fucking the shit out of your ex. Right? <laughs> And I, I heard it last night. Yeah, yeah my, my answer wasn't what he wanted to hear. And I was like, yeah. I was like two steps behind him. And he what just turned around. I don't even remember that at that point. Yeah, I just know. Yeah, yeah. 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 So when I'm when I'm on the ground, this white dude with like a rolling suitcase walked by and was like, "Yeah, my son gets out of line sometimes too." And kept walking. <laughs> I told him to catch the flight. How old were you? I don't know, about sixteen. Uh, Ooh, yeah. 
He turns you into carry on luggage. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, Matt, I know massive country. Uh oh, uh oh. Midwesterner uh -oh. Uh -oh. was a fatherless. And, and your father's outdoorsy? Yeah, he definitely is, dude. I remember one time, the only time I ever saw my dad almost cry was whenever I wrecked his lawnmower. Oh. Because oh. my dad, he sounds, he, he sounds like, you guys know who Joe Osteen is? Yeah. 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 What? Exactly. I just like watched him Sunday morning. How does that sound? I'm not even kidding. He sounds like this, like whenever he talks. <laughs> <laughs> and so he was teaching me how to mow the lawn. And whenever I almost, like, I, I sideswiped it into a tree. Because I was going around like the mulch pad, like too, you know, close. And he goes, my hair! <laughs> 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 <What>? <laughs> that was like the one, so it was like a half cry. And then, you know, I got in a few like things with my dad when I was in high school because I went through like a punk rock phase. I bleached my hair right. and I was wearing like crazy clothes and stuff like that that were ripped up. And like then, like Jenko jeans and shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah, I love Jenko jeans. <laughs> yeah, that was like that was like the, that was the thing. Have you seen Jenko jeans? Dude, it looked like a fucking dress attached to each leg because they were so baggy. They were the stupidest pants ever. You can't see your shoes when you put them on. The bottoms are really wide. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. And my grandpa was so old, he didn't know what was going on. So I'd like tricked him into buying them for me. So I'd get in trouble, you know, because I'd like go to school and then I'd like have on a pair of Jinko. So we would like get into it with, you know, that kind of stuff. So if you were fist fought with your father? Slap box. Really? Oh. <laughs> 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 you told me to close it. Like, yeah, oh, I, I shoved him one time and then wow. it was like the switch flipped in his brain and he did like the open hand, you know. Yeah. You know. And you yeah. slapped him back? No, I pushed him. No. Oh, yeah. I didn't slap him back because there was like, as soon as I pushed him, my dad's a big dude. How big is five? I'm five five, and that's because I only ate Lunchables growing up. My dad's <laughs> <laughs> oh, your dad's six one. Yeah, dude, I got a, I, I, I drink, I drink so much and ate Lunchables, and you know, my dad's six one. Though. Sir, I told you, mom. My mom's good. My mom's like five four. Oh, oh wow. wow. So you're not this real son? I got his. Okay. Uh, maybe not. You know? no, just, <laughs> my mom slept with Billy Crystal. That's why I have really? <laughs> I feel like white fathers and sons, I feel like they duel. Like they get back to back. Ten paces, son! And they just turn around and just shoot at each other. It's not that crazy? Dude, my, my, my mom was always the lenient one. My dad was the one who was, you know, because he's, he's country bumpkin. Right. So still to this day, my dad, like I said, he sounds like Joel Osteen. And he's yeah. like obsessed with lawnmowers. Uh, wow. What's right. Pop's name? It's Michael. What's going on, Michael? My name Mike. Hey, hey. Mike, what's going on? Your Mike with the strong yeah. backhand. He's hanging out with all the colors. <laughs> your, your son's in a room full of colors and he's holding his own. <laughs> he's holding his, he's fucking holding his own, bro. Not no. racist, though. <laughs> no, no. All right, right. Cue up these next clips. When babies had enough of their parents. Baby slapping parents. Oh, oh that's gone, gone, gone. Mm -hmm. Damn, Miles. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, I'll do that. Oh. 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 to grab. How are your eyebrows on the top? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh. Ooh! Oh. Damn! Ow! <laughs> oh! Ooh! 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 She lowered her head. Should I just have one? Oh, 
Night, night, slap the hell out of these dads. <laughs> parents' love is everything, right? <laughs> What's the biggest mistake you've made that your parent forgave you for? Me? Damn. The biggest mistake I've ever made that my parent forgave me for? Um, oh, a friend of mine. Me and a friend of mine were at a 7 Eleven and we was taking shit. Y'all was stealing. He tried to make shit. <laughs> <laughs> we was taking a break. <laughs> <laughs> So we had the store, we still in this shit. The police officers come in, you know what I mean? They uh, decide to press charges, they take us to the police station. So I'm sitting there like, nigga, I can't. Like, my mother gonna kill me. Nigga. Right. Well, the uh, sheriff comes in, he's like, yo, we got too much going on. Call their parents and let them go. Call my mom, let her know, hey, you know what I mean? I was just there, you know what I mean? That's why they let me go. And, shit. Right, right. and it was made, like, she didn't let me play football that season. And she oh. didn't play no do shit. Right, right. So I, I was like, it was made, like, two weeks into the season. And I'm just like, nigga, let me play. I didn't do nothing. I don't got no record or nothing. Yeah. And she just was just like, all right, cool. I'll let you go and shit. But, nigga, she was, for two weeks, she wasn't fucking with me. Ty, biggest mistake you ever made. Man, all right. So, <clears throat> it was my first time at a strip club. And, uh, <laughs> so we talking two or three months ago. <laughs> See, my daughter took me for my birthday. <laughs> I, was a, I was a my baby boy, man. That joke joke, man. I was living with my mom, man. Uh, it was my first time at a strip club. I went to the strip club. I thought the girl really liked me. You <laughs> called me baby. Hey, baby. And we doing these little lap dances. And then we did the dances in the back on the on the Oh, yeah. Bed it's there. a pocket breaker. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> you paid for pussies, what you saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pan, pan, and then um, she, she fucked me. me. <laughs> she followed me to the ATM and I kept getting money out. And I kept Damn. Out. All my money ended up being gone, but I still wanted to have a good time. So I went into my mom's. Um, okay. She was like saving up for like a, a breast cancer walk or something like that. <laughs> Took all that money. <laughs> 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 He saw her. There's a dead woman out there because she spent her life money. You spent breast cancer awareness money on a hoe. Hold up. How much of your money did you spend before you dipped in your mama? That right there, he doesn't have respect to it. I can't believe he did something like that. Wow. Oh man, I probably had probably. Yeah. <laughs> Mom's had about like eight hundred. Uh, you took uh, the whole eight hundred. Not at one time. It was you know repeated dances. So uh, short. Did you get it? Did you hit? No. You just gonna leave out the part how she looked like Dennis Schroeder? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was she was she was she hustling it? She looked like Dennis Schroeder. Was she hustling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was his birthday, he was feeling good, you know what I mean? I didn't know. So we just let him you know. <laughs> so you actually was with him? I was with him, man. Damn! I and you with didn't with stop him? <laughs> I didn't know. You had a motherfucker. Hey, he's <laughs> We're gonna split this. Wait, what were you doing at the time? Oh, I was preoccupied. You know what I mean? I don't want to You know what I mean? It's a smart thing to do. She didn't even look homely. She looked apartmently. <laughs> <laughs> she loved me and I loved her. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he spent breast cancer money on a young Wesley. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. did, did you go to the, the lady whose funeral your mother was saving money to help? <laughs> <laughs> he spoke out of funeral, man. <laughs> the master was good people, man, but I needed the pussy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see, what <laughs> happened was. Uh, <laughs> 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 you killed a woman with your testosterone. Uh, That's crazy. Oh, you're wrong. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> has your has, what's the craziest thing your parents ever forgave y'all for? When, when anybody can speak. Uh, I threw a water balloon whenever I was like 16. I leaned out of a car window and I threw a water balloon at this truck full of rednecks, and it smashed their windshield. And they tried to like run, they tried to chase after me, so they spun around and they did like a, as soon as the- That was not water in that balloon. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is some yeah. heavy yeah. windshield. You know how heavy the water has to be to crack yeah. a windshield, no. my nigga? Water you, you, you had rocks in that balloon. No, you didn't. Nigga, have you ever <laughs> heard of water? This is the truth, unless it's already cracked. And so they started to do a U-turn, <laughs> and they went around in the ditch, and so I got like arrested. So yeah. Oh yeah, so wow. A, a truck full of rednecks. Dang. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. What about you? What's the craziest thing your parent forgave you for? Ooh. Having a son at 14. Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> All right. Yeah. What, 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 well, you know what? My mom was the one that taught me get down where you get mad at. Right, right, right. So I came back. We had actually won a basketball tournament in Phoenix, and I came through the door with the trophy. And I'm figuring everybody's going to be, oh, shit, y'all won. So I opened the door, and all I saw was a light skinned hand come around the door. <laughs> And hit me, bah! So I dropped to the floor. I was like, "We getting robbed in this month." <laughs> 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 we getting robbed in here. Then all of a sudden, I just see, you know, my mom. She, she, you look very similar to my mom. Smaller stature, but big punches. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So she was whooping my ass, and after she nodded me up, she, she lifted me up and sat me down, and she said, "Katrina's pregnant." And I start fucking myself up. Y'all jumped here. That's the ass for Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? yeah. But I, you know, she she forgave me for it, you know, telling the family and I had a you know, healthy son and you know, yeah. we, we grew up together. Right, so. definitely. Sonny. Alright, so when I was little, I would just come up with all these schemes. So we came up with this thing, because you know how like there's the Boy Scouts. Oh, so shit. my cousin and I went through the phone. Went through the phone. Book. He's like, it ain't enough boys in the boys' house. <laughs> <laughs> There's only twelve boys. Like, you know, boys you know. <laughs> nah, what's up? <laughs> so my cousin and I came up. We, we we came up with this charity, the Boys Brigade, right. and we and I, and I like I, I, tight, I tightened up all this stuff. I tightened up all these flyers, and then we we went around like a bunch of neighborhoods because we had bikes, and we just knocked on. We collected all this money. And then I was arrogant, so I left like the paper around, and like my parents found the paper and saw the envelope full of money. And how yeah. much money? I mean, for a thirteen-year-old, I shouldn't have had like three hundred dollars. Oh, that's years. big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah my mom would have kept that. Yeah. No, no, I didn't get the money back, but I got to ask with him too. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. My dad would smoke that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be high for a week, fucking <laughs> 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 Put this on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would have edited you Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mom was vicious though. You know, nah. you a cold boy scout, my nigga. Snaps, I know, I know you got some wild stuff, Snaps. What happened, man? Ah, uh, man, I had just a couple stories. Let me see. Okay, y'all remember the party line back in the day where you called us a bunch of people? Oh, yeah. 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 You know what I mean? So you can go, I can go real well or I can go real left for you. You know what I mean? Right, right. One of my homeboys called me, man, come on, here's girls in here, here's girls in here. He ended up getting into us with some nigga on, 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 the, on the party line. So he calls me like, hop on here, man, talk your shit. So I call in here, we woofing on the dude. 
turn out the dude a gangster or something. Yeah. Right. Oh. So, it's probably like, meet me on the right. shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They just be really going up here. Yeah. But yeah, so next thing you know, they try to set me up. You know, we get off the phone with them, whatever. We back on the party line talking to girl. This girl hop on like, yo, what's your phone number? Woo, woo, woo. I give her the phone number. Next thing I know, my mom got messages on her phone from the, the dude that we was arguing with. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah. 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 Talking crazy. Like, Black dress, all that. Kind of stuff. Oh! Next thing you know, mom called grandma, aunties. They had me in the middle of a circle, prayer circle. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was all bad. <laughs> Dearly beloved. <laughs> we are <yelling. laughs> But, hey. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're keeping it real going wrong. Oh, no. I was, I don't know, I was young, man. Like, probably 12, 13, oh, something. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I used to be in the party line roasting when I was like 11, 12. Uh -huh. I'll never forget it. A nigga told me some shit. I never forgot it. That nigga told me. You got a pocket on your head with a bus token in it. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never get that one. Whoever holds that joke, if you watch it, man, inbox me. <laughs> that joke changed my life, man. That's funny. <laughs> well, just to let you know, Craig, I just put $1,000 up today. That's why I called you this morning. It's going to be a roast battle between you and this nigga from Omaha, Nebraska. Ooh. So, um, Ooh. El Stupo, Josh El Stupo. Oh, he got more money than that. Man. No, no, I put the thousand up. Oh, you man. just, yeah, you, you are, you, you gonna get to it. Yeah. No niggas from obscurity. <laughs> 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 We love animals, even the ones that hate us. Oh, mm. Check out these animals that hate humans. Oh, yeah. mm. Talk, talk, talk. Oh! oh. Why this is a spit right there, right? What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. The animal wanted some head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll go to the sitcom next. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Yep, after this. Oh, yeah. No, how you getting away from that? He did. Oh, he's got all the Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm good. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what yeah, that's going to be a damn bro. That's dinner, bro. Yeah, that's wings. Because there's so much to run around. Dude, I hate squirrels, bro. I hate squirrels. Oh. Oh, I hate squirrels. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Oh! oh. <laughs> Dummy. It's still his head. <laughs> That's Got hilarious. Hit the kid. You kill a bird at that point. Yeah. Any of these animals, you got to kill them, and that's the part that nobody want to do. But he's defending his territory. Oh, oh. He <laughs> threw that shit. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, he wildin'. He wildin'. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, that's the ostrich. Don't do that. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, mm. Eddie Lock. Just give it up. Give it to him. Let him have it. Let him have it. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell no. Oh, mm. oh, he got candy. I need a hyper. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. You better know. Yeah, it looked like it. Ooh. Yeah, get me out of here. No, you won't, bro. I'm not. A monkey happens because you're scared of it. Is monkey strength? I'm not running from that animal. Look, I get your man. Oh. Oh. That shit right there. They look alike. Yeah. Uh -oh. Peck his whole head.
Ouch. Oh. Yep. Tyson. <laughs> I know that. Mm. What about that alarm? My mom after the dog shit. Oh, it's middle. I'm about to dog. Yeah, keep that alarm. Yeah. Alarm, Kate. You're not wrong with that. Nah, nah. Oh, oh shit. Turn that bitch to a window and there you go. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, come on. Two, right? All right, cool. What yeah. is that? Uh, F that's a lot of oh. oh. you get? It's the 20 minute episode on YouTube. He biting oh. his neck? Yeah. Nah, it's over. He on two feet. Oh, no, he's fucking He's trying to hump it. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <Woo>. <laughs> Look, he's still coming back. Look, he still got the crab on his hand. <laughs> oh, no. No. Bash. <laughs> <laughs> I see like shit like that crab. You want to kill a crab? Oh, that's a kick. Oh, yeah, they, they left it, they cut them. Not nice. Yeah. Oh, wow, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> These animals are crazy. Those chickens are really, really dangerous. They can actually cut an eye out. So, mm, you should stay away from them. Are we back? We're back. <laughs> hey, we're back. Give it up for the crazy animals. I can't believe it. Check this out. A lot of y'all don't know. I got my own sitcom. It's called Big Head Craig. Check out the pilot episode featuring me, Charlie Googles, Charlie uh, Newhart, Slink Johnson, and a host of other people. Dog, dog, dog. Big head crap. Say what it is, man. Everybody. Welcome back to Craig Fact. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only podcast has got a sitcom in it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You're getting everything from us. Uh, yeah, man. This next sequence of videos is Idiots at Work. Have y'all ever worked with idiots? Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. You said all the time. What's the last idiot you work with? <laughs> oh, man. Um, man, I worked with, I used to uh, recruit nurses. You know what I'm saying? So we call them and, and you know, give them jobs. And uh, this dude would... I don't even, it was just, I can't even remember what he did. It was just so crazy. Because <laughs> 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 I picked the wrong job. I was like, wow. <laughs> 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 wow. Jumped in the fountain and went in, um, on uh, Marengo. They probably yeah. out of front. Yeah. yeah. Jumped in the fountain and come back to work. He went and did it, man. Shout oh, jumped in the water. Oh, front oh front yeah. Front. Yeah. 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 I'd have fired all you niggas on that shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a So you used to recruit nurses. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, what's the worst nurse employee? You had? What's the fastest somebody's ever been fired that you oh, hired? Oh, man. All right. So, um, down at the Kaiser, like, one one nurse didn't friend the other one on, on Snapchat or something like that. So, they came and confronted her in the room with the patient. Like, this why you didn't add me. Uh -huh. Oh. And then, she <laughs> walk, and then she walks out. And then the other nurse comes behind her out to the hallway like, bitch, don't you ever come up in here talking that shit? So then after that, I get a They call. weren't black nurses, were they? No, they were definitely black nurses. Oh. <laughs> 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 one, 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 definitely one, one was from Washington, the other one was from Hey, 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 hey. I'm just telling you. Hey. And then so after that, I get a phone call like, can I speak to Ty? Like, this is Ty. Like, yeah, one of your nurses is being chased by the Crips down here. Right. Um, mm. What do you want us to do? Oh, she called the homies. She called the homies on the other nurse as she was wheeling somebody out. You know, you, you wheel you to yeah. the car. Right. And then had the Crips call to her and the patient while she was wheeling them out, so. Well, the good thing about getting your ass whooped and being a nurse is you know how to you know how to heal yourself. So, you know, yeah. Prepare, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice yeah, that's cold, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. some wild stuff. You ever work with an idiot? Oh, uh, well, I don't want to call the kids. <laughs> dumb ass kids. Wow. That was a wow. stupid ass five year old. They don't know shit. Right. <laughs> Tell me how you feel. Oh, I've had, I had some days where yeah. I just was just going out. I'd be standing there. I can't even teach because yeah. it's just wild. Yeah. But being a dance teacher, so I, I taught from three years old to 80. Right, right. And I'd say the idiots range all in between. So you've, you've, you've taught an 80 year old idiot? I 
Wow. Uh, I, but I love my students. I'm not trying to. Uh, no, students, we love you. How do you tell somebody they're not good? This, you're not cut out for dancing. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. You pull them aside, say, you think you're working on some other things? <laughs> 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 yeah. Something else that you love doing? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Anything else you have a stronger passion for? <laughs> <laughs> What's the best way to let somebody down, Sonny? Well, I mean, first you identify all the positive attributes. Oh, yeah, and... he's a real manager. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and then you let them know that this may not be the best situation for everyone. You're, you're probably better than this situation. Right, right. So you might want to leave before I bring you down. Right. Before we bring you down as an organization. Right, right. Get, get out, get out early. Con artist. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the three card <laughs> what's, the to, what's the best way to break up with a woman and let her down, Rita? Uh, man, the best way to break up with a woman and let her down is, is to be to have everything that you need in order first. First of all, like you gotta have a place to go. You gotta have other. Business. So you said if you ain't got another spot, don't yeah. break up with a chick. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't want to be with you. But can I stay with you till I got another chick? <laughs> nah, I mean you cool. I sleep at the. Sure I sleep on the couch. <laughs> I'm done fucking you, but I want to live here. <laughs> I love this place. No, I feel like after you got that in order, uh, the mm. easiest way to do that shit is over the phone. I feel like over the phone? Yeah, you Damn. Can, you know, yeah, the easiest way is over the phone, man, because you get that initial, like, yo, this shit ain't working. I think we should talk. And you feel her reaction out. Face to face? Nah, women ain't, they ain't hearing that shit. Especially if they ain't doing nothing. Right. And you're just like, yo, this ain't working for me. They ain't hearing that shit. So I'd rather wow. check it out over the phone first. Hey, man, I think we need to talk. You know what I mean? I'm thinking a lot. I think we should just really talk about this relationship. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking a lot. I've been thinking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat that. Like, you cannot beat that. Hey, man, I woke up and I just thought this might yeah, this right. ain't work out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, you got to hit it with this. This isn't working out. Wow. Right. That's how you got to do it. Because then you, 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 you take the... It's me though. Yeah, it's you always it's me. me it's us. I, I, I haven't broken up okay. with anybody since I was six years old. Okay. Six. I always yeah. let women break up with them. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one that lets women break up with them? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. I've done it before. That's a good thing. Fire flowers. Hey, I mean, I don't want to hurt nobody. You know. Stay stuck. No, I won't be stuck. I'll be out the relationship, but it don't hurt to recognize it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be having other bitches at the house and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I ain't got that many cousins. It's been over. <laughs> you just realize. Plus, it'll stick. It'll stick. It'll stick better. It'll, it'll stick better if she thinks it's her idea. It'll stick. Boy, you think it's she thinks that she, she called the shots. You're good to go. You're like, I've, yeah. I've been out of this for a long time. And, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, if she could say that, like, I had to break up with this yeah. nigga. She don't feel good about yeah, it. Yeah, she feels yeah, good. I don't want to hurt nobody. You know what's weird? Like, you can't find nobody better. If you're really being honest, there's no better human being. It's just somebody's willing to do more for you at that particular moment. Yes. I don't know why people ain't honest about that. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just look, man, this bitch is, look, she's spinning, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so just let me go ahead and work this little <laughs> I can trust you. I don't trust this bitch. But when I'm saying that we can't have a conversation. Oh, you can't. Why are men cowards that we're, because we're supposed to be leading a relationship in all ways. Why are we cowards like that, fellas? I don't get it. You know it. why? Because we're scared of what the retaliation is going to be. Right. And I don't care what you say, how strong you are. It's like, hey, nigga, dick bigger than yours. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then now you finna come and shoot up everybody in this little podcast. Right, right, right. You, Over having a smaller dick. Over right. having a smaller dick, which is. And it's, a nigga wanted to say, my dick littler than his and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bitch ass nigga. That's why I killed him. This is my dick side. All this murder. You know how many murders are about. Absolutely. And you know what men gotta realize? Dick size don't matter. No. These women is fucking women. Yes. Absolutely. If dick size matters, no. 
You know how small the clitoris is? Yeah. If you lose it to a clitoris, yeah. we lose, you, you, you want to know what we're losing to, fellas? We're losing to orgasms. 87%, no, 67% of women in a heterosexual relationship come. That means that there's 33% of women that do not orgasm. 67 is passing them. Wow. No, but in that's <laughs> <in laughs> what? And, here, look, and I'm gonna call them homosexuals, because if you're a lesbian, you're homosexual. It's not you're a homosexual. There's nothing wrong with it, but a lot of that's women who are lesbian don't think they're homosexuals. You are a homosexual, right? Yes. And eighty-seven percent of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you ever mess with a girl yeah. and she didn't think she was a homosexual? She talked to me just. Messing women? Like every girl out there. You're a homosexual, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Whether they you like it or gay. not. Every girl out there is homosexual. But they be, if you're a woman date a woman, you're a homosexual. True. Right? <laughs> Am I tripping? No. What's weird, though, is you the preach it. thing come out of it, and there's like, it was just a thing. No, bitch, you're a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> guys don't do that. It guys was a phase. Hey, just because you were... <laughs> <laughs> But what, what, what was I saying? Oh, 87% of women in homosexual relationships orgasm. We're losing to the nut. 87? What 87. What the other 13? Were they like, this wasn't what I thought it was going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Who was taking this survey? Like, yeah, I mean, that's what I need. I'm going to go back to the couple. But that's what we're, we're losing to the orgasm, and women should be real with that. Stop telling these other women who are really born gay that you're gay if you're not. You're dating her because she's making you come. Dang. Mm. And, and, and women are knowledge. letting women get away with being imposters into the lifestyle because they're scumbags. They just want to not. Weren't they? <laughs> and that's not right. You know what I'm saying? You land and I'm here defending <laughs> real lesbians. She said she's a scumbag. Not these fake homosexuals. <laughs> right. yeah, okay. This is imp imposters. imposters. Well, why can't we just say that? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been hit on by? Uh, have you ever been hit on by a lesbian that is like fully a lesbian? You know, yeah, for sure. Like a jersey. You don't think? <laughs> 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 you said a jersey. Football, jersey. football, football hockey. Football. Uh, football. <laughs> Rams. Go ahead. Rams. Shoulders. Go ahead. <laughs> Scoop you up. I was. This is the first. My first. My first interaction on getting. Picked up by a homosexual man. Oh, oh trying to holler at you. Oh, it's happening to every holler. real nigga. Don't act like it ain't happening. If you say it don't, so I'm coming from basketball practice. Uh, so mine was similar. I'm coming from basketball practice, Missouri. Snowing like a motherfucker. So I'm getting ready to cross the street. Dude, I remember it was a, uh, a 93 Toyota Corolla. <laughs> the nigga pull up, he was brakes balling. screeching. He's like, hey, what's up, man? So I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? I leaned, hey, what's up, bro? I'm figuring he saw me at the game or something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, oh, you recognize that it was bro? He was like, what's up, man? I was like, oh, man, shit, and I just left practice. What's going on? Nothing. He was like, um, what you about to do? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so can I open you up? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey man, you know what I'm saying? I just jogged across the street. <laughs> he got the first base. He got the first base. There was uh, that, that, that street, uh, Santa Monica. Oh, yeah. Santa Monica the city, Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah. Tell him, yeah. I was doing a play. Uh oh. Oh, that's the first <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's got to be one of us. He's doing a play. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking down and this this old dude pulls up and he starts honking his horn. He's like, bam, bam, and I have like my hood on and I'm just ignoring him. And he's like, bam, bam, and he keeps like hitting his horn. So there's a security guard and then I'm like, hey man, and I'm like, I don't know what this guy's doing. He goes, oh man, he goes, he thinks you're a prostitute. Oh. And, then, and then I was like, all right, I'm just gonna like stand here for a second. And he's like, don't worry about this. Another nigga pulled up. <laughs> So what happened when you oh, got the I car? I to the dorms, my nigga. I was done. Uh, hey, yeah. but, but it, first... it startled me because yeah. I just I just thought he was talking. Yeah. You know, hey, what's up? But then when the nigga said, 
So what you about to do? Uh. That's when the light came. I was like, oh, this nigga's gay. In the, in the car, let me get away from this car for the nigga pull a gun on me and pull me in and make yeah. me Goddamn, go. that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your mind went yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm from Watts, nigga. I, yeah, you You're a real man yeah. when you can admit that every yeah. man yeah, yeah. has been hollered at if yeah. you realize it or not. You ever been hollered at, Rito? It was in a club, but it wasn't like a club. <laughs> 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 he said, I want to holler. <laughs> did, he, did he walk you to your car? <laughs> you made sure Rita was safe. You made sure Rita was safe. It was, a, it, was, it was like this, Trey. It was like this, Trey. It was like a... It was like a sneaky how I feel like. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the bartender... He whistled at you? Out. I'm over here talking. I'm over here ordering my drinks, talking to shorty and shit. And then it was like the gay nigga there is chilling, everybody chilling and shit. When the bartender comes around, it's a new bartender. Bartender was like, hey, anybody want drinks? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get one. And the gay nigga sent my drink for me to the bartender. It's like, oh, he'll have a Grand Marie and pineapple. That's what you're drinking, right? And I'm just oh. like, nigga. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, nigga? He's like, oh, no, I'm just sitting here trying to. I was like, all right, I gotta go, nigga. Oh, but it's just the fact he knew the drinking shit. It was just like yeah, he, yeah. he knew this nigga's love yeah, language. We were <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna sneak it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You took that drink and didn't pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Sonny. My dad, my uh, mom's hairdresser's gay, so my dad she like convinced my dad to get a haircut there. Ah. Uh. He's like, yeah. He's like, I don't like the way he touches my head. <laughs> <laughs> I already know, Sonny. And then you feel like you can try. What happened, Sonny? And then you feel like Sonny. Hey, look, man, I done got a few free drinks in my time. <laughs> I don't pay that drink. It went no further than that. I didn't, I didn't feel like pulling my wallet out. It was dangerous. You got them drinks. Man. You ain't never drank with a nigga like this one. <laughs> Huh? Oh no, in, in, LA, in LA? What happened? What happened when you realized? It, it was all a similar situation to what he was talking about. Like, yeah. uh, so everybody knows I'm like a hillbilly, so I drink beer and shit all the time. But fuck yeah. a slit a, a Budweiser down the bar. <laughs> 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 oh, you get <laughs> Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to get the, uh, the bartender's, you know, uh, attention. And, I'm like, ah. and this dude ended up ordering. He just handed me three. He was like, don't even worry. Bye. Oh, <laughs> so I took two and just kept it moving. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what you I took three, I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I took two. How are we supposed to get the third one? You know, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, he slipped the one with the three bottles of beer. He grabbed two of them. He's like, how am I supposed to get the third one? That nigga zipped his pants down and pulled his hair out of his truck. Here you go, Sonny. <laughs> Welcome down lane. Nigga. Absolutely. We've man. all been hollered at, you just don't know. Yeah. Because yeah. it's dangerous for them. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to respect the real, true gay person because their life is hard. Yeah. I don't have, you know, so much love and respect for <laughs> <in> this. <laughs> Absolutely. Hard. Right there. <laughs> the life is hard. Life is hard, man. Yeah. Real respect. Have you ever been hollered at by a dude? Oh, uh, man. I got some glasses. No, man, I got hollered at. I didn't even know I was getting hollered at, man. Like, oh, right. I put up, like, you know, posts or whatever with some bars where this dude was fine. Bro, that's fire. You know what I yeah, mean? Right. So I respond back, like, okay, good looking. He responds back, good. Quick question. How much do you weigh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right after that, uh-huh. <laughs> he's trying to measure the pound out. How much do you weigh? And that's what I'm saying. You don't ask wow. no other. Oh that was it for me. You know, uh-huh. It was a wrap. No 
Yeah. I would have wow. dele- deleted that one. Yeah, I did. I, 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 that's what I did. The whole app. It's <laughs> over for that. Uh-huh. I didn't check no profiles, none of that shit. Yeah. All right, this, this next set of clips. Idios, uh, idiots at work. Hit it. God, God, God. <laughs> the thing is, sometimes I always wonder persons with videos like this. How do the camera person know when it's the right time to record something? I don't know. Sometimes I always wonder, is it really real or staged? Go home, my boy. Up to the house. <laughs> oh, there's no brakes on that. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, it's leaning. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. You remember that? Oh, going to the forest. Woo. What are they doing? Count these rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to see it, bro. What is it? <laughs> Hot potato. <laughs> I don't know what I just lost. It's <laughs> <laughs> moving too fast. That's too uh. Oh, uh, it's um. Oh, uh, that's too high. Well, you can't bring it back. Oh, oh wow. Uh, Good thing nobody was in the car. Oh my goodness, they would have died instantly. <clears throat> Yo. What if somebody was in there? Bro. Oh, shit. What's she doing? Tell me. Oh, this is about to get ugly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's over with. Oh, this is bad. Oh, yeah, this is bad. Oh, right. Yeah. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Yep. Oh, you're lucky. It was just that one. They fighting? That's the biggest one. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna break when it fall out. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. I'm supposed to go to the top. <laughs> <All right. laughs> what? Dummy. Yeah, yeah. it's the last <laughs> one. I should go into the building. You don't see this car. Right. You dummy. Keep that car. Oh. oh! Was it a dude back there? It was there, a dude? Oh, yeah. It was a dude in there, wasn't it? No, he did. He, he got it. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. I'm going to quit. I put my job with that now. This is the last one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh my God. God, God, God. I 
Hey, hey man, that's been this episode of Craig Facts. If I owe you something, get it from God. God, God, God! Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome video by Craig. My thoughts on the video is that there are many things that was talked about, especially how females would actually feel as though they are they are not lesbians if they date another woman because there's a there's a misconception that with um if a guy date a guy they're automatically gay gay but if a woman date a woman they are just a lesbian or faith you know that is really really interesting we tend to look down on men being gay more than women being gay which is true by what Craig said but um other than that I really enjoyed the video the the party video with the graduation falls the mothers being slapped by their child baby and everything whatever have you I really enjoyed it and everything else thank you until next time this is your boy Steph reacts and I'm out of here